everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I have another fall card for you. I know I kind of got a little out of step because I had a um, follower ask me if I would make a cupcake box that her little daughter's birthday was coming up and she wanted a cupcake box that held one of the regular sized cupcakes in it. So. I did do that Sunday and it made it more of a Christmas type um, version but I also did a birthday version because the paper I used under the Christmas tree or under the tree designer series paper it's awesome and it had a couple patterns on it that didn't really look didn't have to be Christmas so I did skip around a little bit but I'm back at doing my fall cards and the Christmas will be coming very soon so um, this is the card I'm going to show you how to make today so let's go ahead and get started the first thing you're going to need is a, a piece of basic um, card base and this is four and a quarter by five and a half and it's whisper white you'll need another piece of whisper white that's one and a half by four and then one piece and tangelo twist and this piece is four by five and a quarter. And then you'll just need a piece of scrap whisper white to stamp our sentiment on. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to stamp tone on tone, which I'm going to use not the Tangelo Twist. It was a little bit dark for this, so I went ahead and using the pumpkin pie. And I'm using the stamp for all things. And I'm using this large leaf and we're just going to randomly stamp um, the leaves and I am going to stamp some off the page some right on it um, I just like to randomly stamp so it looks like it's just been printed on there so that's that and I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for a minute and grab my piece of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And the sentiment is from the Mary Everything. And this is so cute because look at it's got Halloween, Thanksgiving, two Christmas, and then just a regular to and from you can use for anything. And it has the note um, tag punch that coordinates with it and you don't really need it for these two but these three you do so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that grateful for you with pumpkin pie and it's so cute I love the writing and stuff on this and that's what I love about stamping up it everything coordinates and I just love that so I'm going to use this is the uh, note tag punch and I'm going to go ahead and just punch that out okay and then I'm going to use a regular hole punch and I'm just going to punch a hole right at, in the top of this and I need to string my ribbon through that so then we're going to bring back in our card base and on this piece what I'm going to do is I just put snail on most of it. I'm just leaving a little bit free here and I'll add it later because I want to do my ribbon a little bit different and I'll show you here in a minute. So I'm just going to set that part free. I leave that open so I can stick my ribbon underneath. So I'm going to just place this where I want it on this card base. And I can't see it exactly. I think I got it off of here, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take this other piece, the one and a half by four, and I am going to sponge the edges with pumpkin pie. It's just a little bit too white for me, so I'm just going to sponge the edges. and I'm going to grab the hole punch again and I'm going to put it maybe a third of the way up I'm going to put a little hole like that 
and I'm going to grab my chevron pumpkin pie ribbon and this is about six inches maybe a little bit longer and I'm going to put my ribbon in here and then I'm going to string also my sentiment on that because I want this to look like it's coming off the side like that and even these ends up right here and I'm going to set it down just like that but I am now going to stick some snail under here and I'm going to put a bunch so it holds the ribbon in place just set this down and put your ribbon underneath and then you can make sure this is even you want it even and then just set that down and now we can put snail behind here and set this line up your bottom and top edges and make sure this is pulled straight and so that's how I got that and then I made another bow just to save time I'm using the same chevron, chevron ribbon and I'm going to set that on here like that and I'm going to just use some uh, glue dots so I'm going to just put like three mini glue dots on here to make sure it stays and then just attach that right there now the next thing I did was I stamped the large leaf again from for all things this is the set I'm using and I stamped it three times and I fussy cut three leaves out and actually I wanted to leave a little bit of white on the edge so this went really quick it doesn't take any time at all um, we don't have a punch for this one so it doesn't take much time at all to cut these out but I didn't want to take your time on the video so I went ahead and did that and I'm going to put glue dots and we are going to set these behind the ribbon Don't get on there these glue dots they stick to like everything and then we're going to do one more and it just gives it a bunch of dimension and I really really love the leaves on there it really makes the card I think so that is it everyone here's the other one so I hope you enjoyed it um, if you need any supplies you know you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and stamp, uh, shop right from my blog and I'm going to be starting Christmas real soon so be looking for that so everyone have a blessed day have a blessed rest of the week and I will see you next time bye